really lovely and cool here under the trees. Trail's pretty rocky though. I wouldn't really want to go real fast on it. At least not down here along the creek. Good place for the horses to have a drink. This is the Chimney Rock Overlook on the Shawnee Run Trail. It says, please do not leave children unattended. I think that means immature horses like cane as well. One of the many abandoned mines along the trail. I wouldn't want to fall into that big black hole. So out of the woods and up from the creek, and now I think we're going into open fields and wider trail and fewer rocks. Pretty cool old barn. It's very pretty, but the trails sure are rocky. So a good test for Kane's fetlock to make sure it's okay before I haul next weekend down to the Big South Fork. From the back side of the horse uh, facility, most of those trailers belong to the U.S. team. Again, gives you a bit of a sense of uh, the rolling hills out here in the open. It's a lot warmer out in the sun, but still, only in the upper 70s. At least it's not 94 again. Lovely and cool by the creek in the heat of the day. Horses are glad to stop for a drink. I'm going to go back and take the Tanger Trail. At lunch I switched, so now I'm riding cane and ponying mocha. So this is the fulling mill site from the Shaker colony that was here back in the 1800s. And uh, they used to pipe the water down from that little waterfall when the water's running across and uh, use the water in a strange process that involved human urine for stripping the lanolin out of wool clothing. So I bet that's very pretty in the spring when it's running, but it's pretty dry right now. There's a hunt club in the area, so every once in a while off the trail I come across these little uh, fence line jumps. Um, but obviously the whole pack of hounds and horses doesn't go over all at once with that narrow of a little jump. It'd have to be one at a time. Uh, one of the ladies I met said, uh, yeah, they're pretty sociable and quite into their flasks as they gallop around in the woods out here. Okay, as they told me, the Tanyard Trail is uh, quite rolling hills and a 12 to 20 foot wide mowed uh, trail. So uh, it's hot out here, but it's a pretty good workout for the Flatlander horses to have to run up and down these hills. Now if I was on my first Arabian, I'd be jumping these things because I did three days of venting with him. This is so cool. Well, isn't that a nifty way to make a step over the wall for somebody? So can you imagine how many man hours went into building all these stone walls? The whole place is just lined with these hand stacked stone walls. I think that little step over is quite nifty.